All right, Dave, we had to redo the intro to this show because as we were recording, there was a tweet from CM Punk saying that he was going to be live on Rampage with an announcement about the title. That announcement, I don't think was 100% clear by the way that he said it, but uh, it sounds like he is hurt and they're going to do an interim championship. What is the latest here? Yeah, so they didn't say the injury, but he did say a break, and he did say surgery. It looked like it was maybe his foot, but that is not clear. And he will be out of action, but not for a long period of time. I mean, long enough that, that, you know, they're going to do an interim title, but not like it's not like it's going to be nine months or anything like that, or at least doesn't appear to be, or six months even. But, um so they'll end up the, the situation. They announced most of it on this on the air, but there's a few other details. So um, they will open the show with a battle royal. The winner of the battle royal. This is this Wednesday show in Independence, Missouri, which is going to head with the Warriors game. Um, the winner of the battle royal will face John Moxley. The winner of that match will then go to Forbidden Door and will wrestle for the championship. The other, there will be someone that they wrestle, and uh, that is actually, as far as I know, um, that the, that uh, the the opponent will probably be um, the nature of how they're going to get the other opponent will probably be announced imminently. I mean, like it could be, I don't know when, it could be today, tomorrow, whatever, but um, probably not today. But that is essentially the situation. So the one thing, um, I guess that's most important is is how do you do the battle royal and who's going to be in the battle royal because you know you you would want to think that you would have every top guy now they announced adam page and david finley but you would think you'd want adam page in there brian danielson in there miro um you know um just uh, um you know pretty much every Jericho, uh, Cole, top. Samoa Joe. Uh, yeah, I, I saw I saw Lance Archer throw his name in there. Well, I, well, yeah, but I mean the the key to me is 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 that um, you know the, where, where where I saw them and it's still announcing and of course this all developed at the last minute. Mm-hmm. I mean this literally just developed the the injury was must have been from Wednesday night, so it's not like. Um, you know, everything is in order and everything, but I, I would hope that like page would be in the battle Royal just because he's the former champion. And I, uh, you know, again, Danielson has to, you know, we would want Danielson in there. Um, and then, uh, you know, just anyone else, maybe Pac or, Pen- or Pentagon or Phoenix or whatever. But I mean, the top guys, um, you know, Joe, of course, Adam Cole, of course, of course, Adam Cole, um, you know, and, uh, yeah, just uh, from there, um, you know, I guess probably no MJF. That makes sense at this, at this stage. Whose name, by the way, was never mentioned on the show tonight. And um, and just kind of go from there. And then obviously at some point, you know, Punk will be back and Punk will face the winner. So that is kind of what is happening and the whole thing <coughs> excuse me the whole thing has not been that part's been finalized there's more that has not been finalized that will probably be like i said probably be announced um certainly by wednesday and they'll go in there with that so that's the situation so so the idea of the interim title rather than punk just sort of giving it up and kind of being the number one contender when he gets back uh, is, is that kind of because, you know, that's what the UFC does, or is this just Tony, to, this is what Tony believes uh, should happen in a scenario like this? I think the feeling is, is they want something resembling a world title out there, but he doesn't want to take it from Punk. And, you know, I think that there were people who thought that they were, you know, Punk would rel- relinquish it, but it was Tony's idea you know, for punk not to, you know, you, you could have done that and just done it that way. But Tony's idea was that he didn't want in the lineage and history and everything. He didn't want this to be um, a second title run for punk or, 
um, you know, something like that. I mean, he wants to he wants to go with the punk title reign, and there's going to be, you know, obviously with the one pay per view on June 26th that he's out, and you know, some TV, so maybe get a couple of those interim matches to build up, um, you know, the winner facing Punk, um, whenever that would be, uh, you know, when he would when he'd be okay. So, um, yep, I mean that's. Yeah, it's. I don't know that it's a perfect scenario, you know, as far as like the buildup or everything. I think that what we talked about before, in the sense that they just came off two tournaments, mm-hmm. I'm not. A, I'm. I'm not like a fan of battle royals determining a championship. So in a sense, he didn't quite do that. You know, I mean, he put a battle royal winner to be in the match, and the idea is Moxley was the number one contender, which I guess kind of tells you that he probably was planning Punk and Moxley for, um, you know, the uh, um, Mm all-out pay-per-view. You know, I mean, I'm not sure of that, but just the fact he he, he put Moxley in that position and said that as number one contender means that in his mind he's probably been building Moxley to be number one contender. Um, And, I mean, put it this way. The guy who ends up as interim champion is probably going to be the guy who was going to face Punk at All Out and will face Punk, whether it's All Out or Full Gear or, or you know, I don't think it's going to be longer than Full Gear. Mm-hmm. I think it'll be All Out or Full Gear. You know, nothing, that's just my speculation, but just the nature it, 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 of being told that it is not a, uh, a long, you know, six, nine months thing. It's a shorter thing, but it's still surgery, so it is a while. So that's kind of, I think that if nothing else, you know, at the end of the full gear, um, not the full gear, but the, um, forbidden door pay-per-view, we're going to kind of, well, you know, we're going to know what his original plan was and eventually what the big match, you know, punk's opponent will be when punk comes back. Do we know if this is a straight battle Royal? They like to do the casino battle Royals with the jokers. And um, I, stuff. Think, I, I think I uh, think straight battle Royal. Yeah. Yeah. Not a rumble. Um, just a battle world open show. Yeah. And then lastly, you mentioned forbidden door, but you didn't say Tanahashi. I don't, I mean, Tanahashi was who punk was supposed to face, but he doesn't necessarily fit in the world title picture because he's not an AEW regular but uh, but yeah, but, well, but, but Tanaha- Tanahashi and Punk was going to be for the AEW World Title, right? So, so without saying Tanahashi, to... you do you still lean towards Tanahashi, or you think they're going to tear that thing up and do it all over? Um, it it's one of those things that's in play. There's actually no answer to that question right now, okay? Because it all of a sudden and it's all in play, yeah. But log- logically. You would think that, um, you know, Tanahashi would be, if nothing, you know, if, if I was going to say who's the favorite for that spot, it's going to be a New Japan guy, you know, most likely. You know, whether it's, you know, it, it there's there, you can name all the names, right? You know, they, Tanahashi, Will mm-hmm. Ospreay, whatever, you know, all the different guys. But you would think, you would think that the favorite is Tanahashi. Yeah, yeah. But how they do it, um you know, I mean, I think that there's, you know, there's ideas on the table, but like until they're finalized, because literally they're not finalized right now. It's, you know, they, they can change in a million different ways. But, um, you know, like if you're going to bet on a guy just because he was the guy in the spot, it would probably, you know, if things don't change sem- you know, somewhat significantly, Tanahashi would certainly be. The favorite, right? Mm-hmm. You know, because it was already going to be in the main event. So yeah, so that, that would be the idea. So we could, we could have Moxley Tanahashi, which is interesting because that was the match that was originally going to be in um, Chicago, and because of um, you know the way the U.S. title thing happened, they ended up turning the four way, so they never did do that match. And if you remember. Um, it's, it's like a year ago, almost a year ago, right? They, remember they were they were building the Moxley Tanahashi anyway mm-hmm. in, in the United States, and then it just kind of like it wasn't the right time. So it's that is a match that has had, you know, it's never it's it hasn't happened, but it is a match that has had, um, you know, a, um, 
it was it was something that was planned someday somehow. So you know that's something that it, I mean it certainly could happen. Yeah. And, and I guess we don't know this yet because, like you said, everything is sort of happening now. You know, but... and it may not be it may it, it may not be it may not be Moxley, but you know another guy, of course, with Moxley that you can always say is Osprey because that's another one open business. Remember they had the match in Chicago, mm-hmm. which was you know to lean to a rematch. That's that's another name out there. The the only reason I bring that up is because they are building towards blood and guts, and Moxley said he was in that match. So I don't know if that changes plans for for what they're doing there. Well, blood and guts will be in Detroit. It will not be on the pay per view. Right. I right. Mean, it's not on Forbidden Door. It's going to be three days later. Right. Right. <clears throat> so he can do that. But that makes it interesting because again, you know, Danielson is a key guy, and they're a tag team. Um, you know, and they also had that unbelievable pay per view match. Right. Um, but maybe that's not something you want to do right away. You know. But I. I we just figure that, you know, again, Danielson, Jericho, um, you know, again, you know, all of those guys, the former champions and, and um, everyone, everyone, everyone that's a top guy should be in that battle royal, I would think. It'll be it, interesting to see. It's kind of too bad that Omega is hurt because you could have also done something like the four former champions all do a match together somehow and then you build towards... You know, well, you know, in, comes in, out of that. In, you know, in in a perfect world, if Omega wasn't hurt, the idea of doing like a a, a one night tournament on television, um, you know, this week with Jericho, Omega, um, Moxley, and Adam Page. That would have been awesome. Uh, yeah, to determine, you know, maybe go over two weeks. You know, maybe like do the semifinals on the 15th and then the finals on the 22nd. I mean, yeah, that could have been awesome. But I, you know, I think that, you know, it, one of the keys to this, I think is the fact that because forbidden door is coming so soon, they wanted to get, um, this thing, you know, where you, you know what I mean? They want to get this thing as, as quick as possible. Yeah. And again, the other thing is if we didn't just have the Owen Hart tournament, I think that there may have been, you know, the idea of like, well, we can do a tournament, but I think the idea is, is that because we just did a tournament, they didn't really want to do another tournament on TV right away. So this is kind of like the solution, you know, it's, it's, it's a late solution. And I, you know, again, if it was perfect pro wrestling and it had been built up for six months, I don't think we would have this, we would have something different, but this is the situation when you're, you know, you're throwing a curveball and like, you know, do you want to do another tournament right now? We just had a tournament, and the answer probably is: is it feels like a repeat. You know, you could have done it. You could have done it. People would have been fine with it. But you know, I think that's just the thing. And also, you didn't want a three-week tournament because you've got that thing, and you want to get that, you know, that match announced as soon as you can. So um, that's another aspect of of going with it this week. Yeah, and if you, I don't know if you remember, but gosh, probably two or three times ago that we had Tony Khan on the show, I asked him if he books with a plan B in mind, and he says no. He just sort of trusts his instincts to be able to pivot when they need to to pivot. So, yeah, it, you know, it's probably exactly what you said. Just you know, he's you're just kind of creating on the fly here. Well, I mean, yeah, well, it is it you know, it is creating on the fly. I mean, that's there's you know, it's it's it all came down today, although. I think the thought process probably started maybe, you know, Wednesday night, Thursday morning, mm-hmm. you know, but the confirm the confirmation of the injury was today. Um, and so at that point, it's like, okay, you know, how long is it going to be out? You know, cause again, if he was going to be out nine months, it would be for the championship. I don't think it'd be the interim. Yeah. Um, so it's long, you know, but I think he, because of Forbidden Door, he's got that pay per view. You know, if he didn't have that pay per view at all, maybe he would have just waited for All Out to do something. Mm-hmm. You know, if, if, if it was, let's just say, let's just say theoretically, right? We're going theoretically, the Punk is ready on All Out. If he didn't have this pay per view, he may have just gone in there and just, you know, we don't, you know, we'll have Punk do interviews or we'll do something, we'll build up, we'll we'll do whatever we're going to do to build up a contender. Um, you know, we'll do the verbal back and forth at the end. And then this is just the championship match. And Punk just doesn't do a match on TV for a couple months. And you could have done that. But because you have Forbidden Door, I think the feeling is, is that he didn't want to strip Punk, but he did want to have a championship match on Forbidden Door. 
Um, so, you know, that's, I think that's where the solution comes in. I'm, you know, again, I'm speculating, you know, even though, you know, um, I do have a lot of kind of background on it. Mm -hmm. I think that that's probably where the decision comes from. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, wrestlingobserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week, you can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.